Welcome back. We have discovered that Jesse Baines is using Pate's identification and he has booked a flight to Houston. We're just discussing that with Keith. It has to be Baines that bought that ticket, you tell Keith. He must have used Pate's identification. Okay, um, let's see if we can find anything else in here. Let's check the men's room. As you walk into the men's room, Keith says, I'll wait for you out here. You look around the public restroom, but only the only unusual thing you notice is that it's cleaner than most. Good old Lippin. Okay. Well, Baines had to get rid of his gun somehow. And a toilet would be as good a place to do that as any, I guess. Let's check this one. See if there's anything in there. Full of water. Not surprising. How about the next one? Maybe something's in this one. You see what looks like a police revolver hidden in the bottom of the toilet tank. Very good. That's what we were hoping for. You roll up your sleeve and lift up the revolver. That text box disappeared very quickly. The revolver is pretty wet and so is your hand. Well, um, carrying a wet revolver around is very nice, so let's see if we can dry it using the electronic dryer here. Let's turn it on. You turn on the electric hand dryer. You use the warm air from the electric hand dryer to dry off the gun. And, um... After fishing around in the toilet, we should really wash our hands. That's a good boy. It's not worth any points, but at least you're clean. Fourth wall? What fourth wall? Okay. Let's see if we um, can't find out anything else. You tell Keith that you've found a kidnapped jailer's revolver in the restroom toilet. Keith congratulates you on your find and suggests that you take it back to the station and book it as evidence. I will as soon as we're done here. Um, let's see if there's anything to the right. Shut up. I've already talked to you and you couldn't help us. There's a car rental agency here. Looking around you see a car rental agency and not much else. Oh. Top hats, of course. <laughs> it's Top Hat Rent a Car. Can I help you? asked the agent. You flash your badge at the Top Hat agent and he says, oh, oh no, is my boss in trouble again? No. I just want to know if you've seen this guy. The agent looks at the mugshot and says, What a mean looking fellow. Fortunately, I've never seen him before. Okay, how about you? The agent looks at you and says, Dependable transportation is our business. You flash your badge at the top hat agent and he says, Oh no, is my boss in trouble again? Apparently, uh... There's something really going on, bad going on with that boss. Maybe we should send someone over to investigate that after we've, we're done with this case. This sounds fishy. You showed a mugshot of Baines. Nope, never, I've never seen the man before, but he sure looks like he ought to be locked up. Well, he was until the incompetent people at Lytton City Jail just let him walk out of there. What's that picture of? Another pointlessly pointillistic painting. Uh, 
Um, okay, well that didn't help. Let's check this side. Maybe somebody over here has seen Baines. Looking around you see a car rental agency near the escalator. There are two agents behind the counter at the Siva Car Rental Agency. At least they're not wearing top hats. We have wheels and we make deals, cracks the agent. You show your badge to the car rental agent and he says, Yes sir, Officer Bonds, what can I do for you? Maybe he's seen Baines. You show the box shot of Baines and the agent says, Nope, never seen a man before. Okay, maybe this woman will, uh, will have seen her. Him. <laughs> um, okay. Is there anything in particular you wanted to talk about? The rental agent says. Yes. You show your badge to the car rental agent and she says, Yes, sir. Officer Bonds, what can I do for you? Have you seen Baines? The agent looks at the mugshot and says, Matter of fact, I do remember renting a car to this guy. Bingo! Here you are, sir. Be my guest. Flashing a smile, the agent gives you her list of car rentals. Looking at the rental agreements, you come across a familiar name. Louis Pate. You think to yourself, that punk has rented a car using the jailer's ID. I'd better jot down the information. You write down the vehicle information. 1988 Green CMG Sedan. License number C43256. Okay. Now that's interesting. Because why would Baines rent a car here in Lytton if he was going to use them? Maybe one of the two is just um, something to throw us off the, the trail. He's either going to Houston, or he's staying here with his rented car. Or maybe both are uh, fake trails. Let's uh, check what's up here. No, oh, it's just the terminal. The boarding and receiving area is equipped with a metal detector. A security guard mans his post. Um, let's talk to the security guard. Let's see if we can do that. He doesn't seem real talkative. You show your badge and the security guard says, Pass right on through, officer. Just remember, no partaking of the spirits. Um, okay. I want to show him the mugshot. Nobody recognizes Baines's picture. We've got points for showing the ID, uh, but that's actually not relevant right now. But he hasn't seen Baines. Which might indicate that he hasn't actually taken the plane. Oh well, let's head back to the station and um, drop off our evidence. And, of course, we need to activate the traffic light again. You push the button activating the traffic control light. You can now safely cross the street. You get points for that again. Key suggest, Sunny, we'd better get going. I completely agree. Keith yells, Hey, wait for me, Sonny! And let's use a radio to call in the gun. Dispatch for Fumary 2. Request check be made on handgun. Serial number SW5557763. Fumary 2, we advise your number comes back to a 4 inch K38 Smith and Wesson registered to Lewis Pate. Well, Sonny, I guess we should head back and boot this evidence. Perhaps, but I still want to call in the car, the rental car, as well. After requesting an APB on Baines' rental car, Keith says, Well, get him now, Sonny! 
Let's hope so. Well, we should head back to the station, but we'll do so in the next video.